Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I feel like I'm doing like like a presentation in school. Okay, for today's video, I am going to present to you, okay, Google Slides and everything, why I think Aria should have been A. I put together a little PowerPoint presentation. So this is my PowerPoint on why Aria should have been A. Point number one we're going to talk about iceland aria went to iceland during the year that allison disappeared and i find it very funny might just be a coincidence that nothing happened from a until aria got back from iceland and suddenly aria is back from iceland and it's like oh who is a like do you know what i'm trying to say here could be a coincidence guys you know i don't want to this is just an assumption a helps aria so basically aria's dad right he's having an affair right, with a student of his well he did back in the day and aria is lying to her mum the whole time about aria knows about it yeah because as we can see in this photo here aria sees them kissing right so she knows about the affair a actually helps aria and tells aria's mom about the affair which ends up like kind of being a good thing for aria um because she doesn't have to lie to her, her mom anymore and like the secret's out and like everyone knows what's going on in the long run it kind of helps the situation. So when A takes Dr. Sullivan, Aria is tasked with getting rid of Jackie. And Jackie was one of Ari uh, Ezra's ex-girlfriend. And she's, she's kind of in the way. She's kind of annoying. She's kind of like getting in between them. And A tasks Aria with getting rid of her. Who does that help? Hmm? Who does that help? yeah it helps aria and aria only unmasked season two finale we can see here the whole like point or like one of the biggest things of like this episode was that a was dressed as the black swan there was more than one black swan at this ball we were led to believe it was melissa but marlene king who was like the director alluded it to be aria so this is the dress that aria was wearing black swan marlene king i must say aria's dress in the finale such masquerade scene is horrid then she replies back okay it's kind of perfect for the episode wait and watch what does that mean mrs marlene king tell me so i think in this episode it was kind of leading to aria being like a main kind of like suspect here because they put so much emphasis on like a is wearing a black swan dress right that was like the main thing and melissa we initially thought was supposed to be the black swan but it turns out she actually had no idea what she was doing there <laughs> so aria wearing this dress there's some significance there. I'm sorry, I can't lie. A was to be unmasked in this episode because this is the episode where Mona gets revealed as A. We all know it. But Aria is also the only one here. Guys, listen to this. She's the only one in this episode who physically has a mask taken off her. <gasps> Aria. Um yeah yeah this is not all a coincidence marlene king i know what you were trying to do i low-key love it i love i love it i'm vibing with it right next point the dolls right the dolls a has quite a fascination with dolls a loves dolls you know we have like the doll house and mona uses dolls as like the girls are the dolls and she's like taunting them so this is A's collection of dolls. So we got Emily, Hannah, Spencer, 
Arya. Do you notice anything about Arya's outfit? Should we take a deep dive? Arya is wearing a black hood. Interesting. Why would you be wearing a black hood, Arya? Yeah, this, mm -hmm, not a coincidence. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. This was a setup. Doll, Arya in a black hood, black boots, black jeans. Yeah, I know what you are. Then Arya likes photography. And for a project, she focused on dolls very much like A. A loved dolls. Yeah, there's this whole fascination with dolls. And Arya, the point of her liking dolls was such a big like thing in the show that i'm just like why would you put it in if it's not like important do you know what i'm trying to say and then also at one point ella tells aria people aren't dolls you can use to play with what do you mean by that ella my love there's many a references many a many a references mona publicly publicly in school cause aria she's like hey big a what do you mean by that mona because big a was like a name for cc's a so what do you mean by that hmm? what what are you trying to say oh girl stop moving a fan tweeted marlene king asking for a hint about the identity of a marlene tweeted back big a interesting interesting so let me let me let me just like summarize this okay you're telling me okay listen because i'm not even sounding de delusional guys marlene king the director of the show tells people big a is a really big clue for a and mona calls aria big a now this is not delusional and this is factual information this is information that pop base should be tweeting because this is just like this is not even a coincidence guys on the halloween episode the train one i can't remember what season it was maybe season two aria writes an a she writes her name actually but one of the a's looks significantly like a's a when they write a so yeah next point everyone named this bit ezra stuff right because some of a's notes have been typed on a typewriter ezra has one in his apartment so therefore aria has access to a typewriter because who the hell owns a typewriter even back in the day 2010s who is using a typewriter do you know what i mean ezra fits the type of person i personally think no offense who has a typewriter this bit here was like one of my worst like i will forever think about this and i have nightmares thinking about it because i just wake up and i'm like why did they not capitalize on it but there's a scene uh season three i want to say mona says to aria miss aria you're a killer not ezra's wife which also stands for maya new no. now why would you say this if it had no relevance because they actually never come back to this statement interesting interesting my main thing about this is that this is like such a good line if aria was a and if aria had done something or like was like the setup to a miss aria you're a killer not ezra's wife you're kidding me well i think having this in the show is actually a really big staple for like what is aria up to because this girl next point everyone personality disorder this in no way by the way is me trying to disrespect anyone who has a personality disorder or whatever this is one of the main theories from many fans of the show and it's on many of the forums it's a theory that aria actually has a personality disorder many times in the show aria is reflected through mirrors and this isn't just like once or twice this is like a lot um even like in her first like when she comes back from iceland she's reflected in a mirror 
And then the episode after Mona gets revealed as A, she's reflected in a mirror. And like this happens a lot. Um, and people feel like this is a sign of her maybe having like two versions of Arya, one that's maybe good and one that's maybe bad, and like she can't really like have a like handle on it. Arya has a lot of hallucinations, and this is also one of the big like kind of symptoms of a personality disorder. She has multiple hallucinations. At one point, she's in the girls' bathrooms. And she hallucinates that A is in there with her. And then once Shauna was killed, um, Arya had hallucinations that she was actually alive at her funeral. So we can see there's some type of maybe illness going through her. Because continuing on, Eddie Lamb recognizes Arya when she volunteers at Radley. Um, so I put here, could Arya have been there in the year she supposedly went to Iceland? And also, Eddie Lamb later goes missing. So, I feel like this is, like, such a big thing. So, Eddie Lamb was a worker at Radley, which was, like, a mental institution. And the fact that he recognised Arya, and we never came back to that point because he went missing, is crazy. So my kind of theory is maybe in the year that she was in Iceland, she was actually um, in Radley and maybe just dealing with something Um, because I feel like this is such a big thing and it could could have been such a good like indication that she is A or she has another side to her that we've not really seen. Maybe she's helping A, whatever. Arya's family has a history of mental illness. Byron's brother... Um, so her uncle uh there's hints of him having like a mental illness and also her brother mike also deals with his own kind of mental stresses and mental illnesses so it's not like like it's a family thing it runs through her blood which just ultimately makes a bit more sense because for you to be a there has to be something that's kind of like not triggered you but just like do you know what i mean um so it kind of makes sense if aria was in fact not in uh, in iceland but um in radley also in the episode when toby is revealed as a we see mona listens listening to a classic piece of music called aria with 30 variations and i feel like this is not like this can't be a coincidence aria with 30 variations when toby gets revealed as like being on the a team also the black swan from earlier as you can remember um is a movie about a girl with two sides to her personality one which is sweet and innocent and one which is darker hello everybody am i going crazy this is like the most like like hello yeah yeah so dr sullivan this is a big one guys so dr sullivan okay when the girls go to dr sullivan who is like their like therapist all of the girls have handwritten files except for arias which is typed which indicates she's like she was like a client before this type of thing so she's been to therapy before interesting therefore she could be dealing with some type of mental illness in the past linking back to the radley stuff making her a yeah okay destruction and anger so Arya trashes Ezra's apartment after finding out about his book and she also trashes Byron's office when she finds out about his affair. Therefore, she has violent... violence. She's, she's got the capabilities of being violent. A violent person. Um, so it's not like she doesn't have it in her type of thing. Therefore, in conclusion, I believe that miss aria is a that's just like my opinion on the whole situation and there was actually a leak apparently that aria was supposed to be a but the writers didn't want to make it too obvious but i feel like aria being a would have actually been 
the perfect like full circle thing to have someone from the very start of the show and like even before like when Alison went missing and type of thing that was actually the villain the whole time would have been really really cool and I feel like her motive would have been so much so much more like solid and I don't know I just think it would have been really really cool and I feel like they were trying to set it up but ultimately didn't I would love to hear your opinion on the topic because this is something I advocate for (laughs) I'm very passionate about Arya being a um I think it just should have been done I just don't see why they didn't do it but yeah thank you for watching this video i'd love to hear your opinion down below so make sure to comment give this a big thumbs up subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys